If you know me, I'm a Los Angeles Lakers fan. And I was born in Los Angeles, raised in Atlanta. So the Jordan 12 feel purple, it definitely uh, sticks with me. What's going on everybody in the building, man? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. And today, guys, we have the review of the upcoming Jordan 12 Field Purple. Now, these are set to release on August 12th for a retail price point of $200. It comes, as you can see, in the OG Jordan light box. Check it out right here, eight and a half. Air Jordan 12 Retro Black slash Field Purple. And on the inside, typical paper, you know, typical standard edition. Jordan 12 box, Jordan 12 paper, and all the above. The Jordan 12 filled purple though, I won't lie, so loose to a lot of y'all out there. I was reminded that this was actually a PE for Gary Payton with his tenure with the Los Angeles Lakers. A 2003-2004 year that I really was heartbroken as a kid watching because we went all the way. We had Gary Payton, Kobe, we had Shaq, we had Carl Malone. You feel what I'm saying? We had a team of elites you know, Rick Fox, Derek Fisher, and I thought we could have won it all. We had a great season, but we got demolished by the Detroit Pistons, and they're just incredible. I would say one of the top most defensive teams ever in the NBA. There was a time even when I remembered when Ben Wallace actually blocked Shaq. That's when I knew shit was getting serious. But we have here though the Jordan 12 field purple, and this was actually a PE that Gary Payton had worn himself. And the black and yellow version of this shoe, which was another PE of Gary Payton's, released a couple years back. So it was only a matter of time that we could see this shoe come forward in the black and field purple. I won't lie, I thought these were gonna be called court purples at first, but then as you can see, no, it's called the field purple. You got the back tab, which just obviously shows you that Lakers heritage, as well as what you could see on the bottom here. There's also a white and yellow version of this shoe that Gary Payton wore as well. So a white and yellow, a black and yellow, and then this black and purple one. I don't know if it was a white and purple, but there may be, we'll just have to wait and see. However, this is a PE brought back to life now in a general release sneaker. Now, does that have enough for this shoe to do well, to sell out, to skyrocket? No, I don't think that these are gonna just fly off the shelf however i could be wrong so don't hold me to it i caught what i like i don't cop the flip i don't cop the dip i caught what i like at the end of the day so this is a shoe that i definitely like but at the same time i think i may pass on this one in particular i'm gonna be honest the black and yellow version of this shoe when it dropped the other gary payton one it did well but i think it sat for the most part as well like it didn't fly off as well so i don't expect this to do any difference as far as material goes the material on the shoe is, is very well nice leather on the upper the reptilian nutsack material is a little hard there you got the reptilian on the rubber as i stated before the jump man that's in plastic the sole that's in rubber the reptilian material that's in this sort of i would say you know leather or some sort of pleather and then of course the midsole that is in a foam like material all one two three four four different types of materials going on here but they match very very well and the reason why i say that is because on other releases sometimes those colors are just very off because it's hard to match that same pantone you got the gold accents on the jordan 12 and these uh they're plastic so just keep that in mind you're not getting anything and tin or aluminum or anything like that the jump man in purple as well as that two three that's along the tongue and uh inside you got a black and purple jump man these will be available over on soul play first come first serve on august 12th and that's the date that we got so far for these bad boys we do know that the jordan 5 burgundy is also another sneaker that will be selling on the 12th as well so i don't know if one of these will be pushed back pushed forward or they're just going to both release on the same exact date if they do hey it is what it is. These are going for 200. The burgundies are going for 225. But overall, hey, I like it. I like PEs coming back to the general release. And even though I might not personally pick it up, it's still not a bad release for Jordan Brand. And what I mean by that is that I'm okay with Jordan Brand dropping a whole bunch of dope shoes that I don't get, but I can still look back and say, hey man, that month was a really good month. I didn't cop anything because I didn't necessarily want it or need it or feel the need to want it or feel the need to need it but it was still a dope release and that's what this is this is a good release in my opinion i just don't really need it right now black and purple i mean literally purple lobsters got these guys got these guys got these guys i mean we got tons of stuff here man purple so yeah guys so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm gonna end you guys and girls off with an on foot review and uh salute to gary payton man jordan 12 
field purple.